<laughs> Viva La Vegan! Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net and welcome to today's question and answer which is What are the best tools for vegan outreach? I think just in general, tools or the best ways, the most effective thing that you can do anything um, where you're leading by example you know, you're living your message and acting in a non-judgmental, compassionate way. These are the best ways that I think you can be effective with vegan outreach. Um, I'll give you some other tips and tools who are both online and in person. And don't think for a moment that one of these is better than the other, no matter what other people say. You just need to find out your skills, the things you like doing, and the things that you can see yourself actually committing to for a long, long sort of purpose. And it's pretty simple, really. If you like, um, for example, if you like leafleting and you can do that once a week for two hours a week, then you should do that. And that's meant to be a really effective way of getting the message out and converting people over to veganism or vegetarianism. So in person, here's a few ideas. Leafleting, cooking food, giving food demos, food sampling, video screenings handing out information packs so this isn't just like one thing like a leaflet it can be just one brochure an information pack has a lot of brochures might have some food samples things like that volunteering mentoring letter writing speaking teaching or coaching if you're good at that sort of thing pay-per-view events like um, i don't know if you're aware but you can pay to you can pay people like a dollar to watch a two-minute movie and you can get funding from that from from um veg funds as well protests there's so many different things that you can do what else do you think is a good thing for in-person um outreach some online ones. Now these can be used if you have your own website like I do, vivalavegan.net or on your social media channels and um, you can use all these tools for outreach. Some of these lap over as well into online and um, in person. And don't forget email. So many people just because they're on Facebook all the time forget email and email is a really good way to get the message out to people because it's not just a short burst of information at a particular time. You send an email and it's there in someone's email inbox until they delete it. So keep those things in mind. So here's some ideas for online outreach. A website, blogs, videos, articles, interviews, recipes, forums, podcasts, mentoring online, online coaching, online information packs, letters, campaigns, mailing, email, online advertising is really good as well. If you have a spare $20 and you want to put that aside every week or every month to go to online advertising to go to a particular video that you um, really think will help people become vegan then put your money put your money towards that it's a really good way to get to people and keep in mind you can either create these things or you can just share what other people have created already and there's a hell of a lot of good stuff that already exists out there so please don't think that you need to create new stuff all the time when some really good things already exist and can you think of anything else that would be good for online vegan outreach if so let me know uh, there's this really good website I just found called um, Animal Charity Evaluators and you can see their website animalcharityevaluators.org and they recommend that leafling is the, the best thing that you can do. Um, it's the best way to get to a lot of people in time. Keep in mind that you need a high traffic sort of area and um, using just a few hours a week and it has the most effective outcome in their opinion. And especially if you use brochures that come from farm animal advocacy. They also mention that their two top charities for animals are the Humane League and Vegan Outreach. And they also mention Mercy for Animals and Veg Fund as top organisations. Um, in non-related to um, purely animals or vegan charities, there's also a website called givewell.org and that's about non-animal organisations. And if you give a lot of money to charities, definitely check out both of those websites because they do a lot of um, research and give a lot of information on to what actually works and so that your money that you put into something actually goes towards helping the things that you think it's going to because the majority of charities don't. So um, 
I hope that's all helped today with um, telling you the best tools for vegan outreach. Please let me know if something worked for you or it doesn't. And I look forward to seeing you next week for our question and answers. Make sure you've subscribed if you have not. And next week's question will be, what is the best source of calcium? See you then.